Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about how I grew my girls natural hair. In most of my kids videos, I always get asked that question, how I grew my girls natural hair or what products I'm using, their routine. And please excuse my voice if I sound a bit hoarse, that's because I am. So let's jump right into it. Okay y'all, so the first thing that you need to know when it comes to growing out your children or your child's natural hair, you need to know your child's porosity and their hair's density. Now these two are very important because it allows you to understand how your child's hair maintains moisture, the thickness of their hair and so forth. There are so many YouTube videos explaining how to find your hair porosity, how to understand your hair's density. So I advise that you go and watch those to get a really clear understanding of your child's density and porosity. My oldest, she has low porosity hair as well as my youngest but when it comes to their hair's density the thickness of their hair my oldest she has medium density and my youngest she has low density hair meaning that her strands are very very fine her hair is not thick at all i promise you if you stare at her strands too hard they probably would break like her hair breaks easily and that's due to her strands being very fine so by me understanding my girl's porosity and density it allowed me to build a routine catered to their hair type. The second thing that I needed to do was understand what products I needed to use to keep their hair healthy and to maintain the health of their hair. An oil to pre-poo their hair and to use as a sealant, a shampoo that I needed to get their scalp and their hair clean, a deep conditioner to add that moisture back into their hair to keep their hair healthy, soft and manageable and some kind of hair cream or moisturizer thick leave-in cream i needed something that i can use that will keep the hair moisturized and soft you don't need a lot of products when it comes to growing out your hair guys i promise you by me just keeping the products very simple and basic i was then able to build a routine based on this information i had gathered so after i figured out my girl's porosity their density and what products to buy now it's time for me to actually build a hair routine so we have a few wash day routine videos out you guys can check those out if you want to see how I actually take care of my girls hair if you're more of a visual person you can go ahead and check out those videos now when it comes to my girls hair routine I keep it very simple y'all I'm a very simple person I try to keep things straight to the point their hair routine consists of four steps that we do every two weeks. You may be wondering why not wash your girl's hair every week. The weekly washes was just too much on their strands. It was overwhelming for me. We decided to go with washing their hair every two weeks. It works for their hair type and it works with our schedule. So moms, I would say build a hair routine that works with your schedule and also that works with your child's hair. So my girl's wash day routine consists of four simple steps. First, we start off with pre-pooing their hair with extra virgin olive oil. And I like to pre-poo my girl's hair before I wash it because it allows me to get rid of all of the shedded hairs, all of the tangles. Once I've applied that, I allow that to sit on the hair with a plastic cap for 30 minutes. Then we move on to shampoo in their hair. So I like to use a moisturizing shampoo on my girl's hair, something that's not too harsh, you know, something that can clean their scalp while also leaving their hair moisturized. Now, once I am done with shampoo in their hair, we move on to deep conditioning their hair. So we all know how stubborn low porosity hair can be when it comes to adding the moisture into our hair. I allow my girls to sit under the hooded dryer with a deep conditioner because they do have low porosity hair and the heat just helps that deep conditioner to really penetrate their strands, leaving their hair more manageable, soft and moisturized. So I've been allowing my girls to use heat with their deep conditioner since age two y'all. Since age two, I've been doing this routine with my girls. Now once we are done with deep conditioning my girls hair, we move on to applying a leave-in cream. I use a very nice thick creamy leave-in conditioner on my girl's hair. That can keep their hair moisturized for a few days before I have to go in and re-moisturize their hair. Okay, on to tip number four. We do a lot of low tension hairstyles. 
so you won't find me doing like the hairstyles that are gonna be so tight that's gonna be pulling out the hair we do a lot of twists over here we do some ponytails every now and again but when I do do ponytails I do not do it tight at all and every now and again we'll do like a few cornrows or braids and things like that but the main hairstyle that my girls wear are two strand twists I try to not put too much tension on my girl's edges, on their hair as a whole because the hair is very fragile and I don't want to break and pop their hair from having these tight hairstyles on their hair. I rarely let my girls wear their hair in like wash and goes because it just causes too much tangle, single strand knots and that's going to be like a mess on wash day. Okay y'all, the fifth tip that I have for you is you want to make sure that you are moisturizing frequently y'all. I cannot stress this enough. Moisture, moisture, moisture. Moisture is gonna be your best friend. Keeping your child's hair moisturized frequently is going to be so beneficial, y'all. You have to remember, when your hair is dry, it breaks. Moisturizing your child's hair frequently is going to help the health of their hair. You don't wanna wait until your child's hair is already to the point where it's so dry and hard and brittle. You want to moisturize your child's hair before it gets to that state. Sunday I do their whole wash day routine, then I go in and moisturize their hair, and then by Wednesday I'm re-moisturizing their hair before it gets to the point where it's dry. I take my time when I'm moisturizing my girl's hair. We do the LCO method. I lightly spritz their hair with water, then I go in with a nice thick creamy hair moisturizer. Then we seal it with extra virgin olive oil. That's all we do, y'all. We keep it very simple. You don't have to complicate growing your child's hair. I promise you, it's not as complicated as people make it seem. Once you have a routine that you are sticking with every week or every two weeks, however often you're, you're doing your child's routine, you will see results. But moisture is going to be key when it comes to growing out your child's hair. Keep your baby's hair moisturized, y'all. Don't allow the kid's hair to get so dry to where you are touching it, it is breaking. You wanna make sure that you are constantly adding that moisture into your child's hair. I moisturize my girl's hair up to three times a week. It all depends on how much moisture my girl's hair has lost throughout that week. So sometimes it can be twice a week or up to three times a week. I don't play about that moisture, y'all. I really don't. Being consistent with your child's routine, this is the only way, y'all, you will see results. You can't say you're gonna do this routine this week and then the other week you're doing a different routine. How are you gonna see results if you're not consistent with the routine that you have already started? So consistency, y'all, wins in all things. Be consistent. So the last tip that I have for you all, you wanna make sure that you are protecting your baby's hair. Yes, y'all, this is very important. The cotton pillowcases that we sleep on, it sucks all of the moisture out of our hair, leaving our hair very dry and brittle, which can lead to breakage. So I am one of those moms that make sure their girls wear their bonnet every single night, y'all. They don't miss a night. Like, we don't play that over here. We're all about protecting and maintaining the health of our hair. And you also have to think about it like in this way, y'all. If you're putting all of these products on your child's hair, all of that product that you're putting on their hair is just gonna rub off onto their pillow, leaving their hair dry. So you wanna make sure that you are protecting their hair, that way the moisture can last a lot longer in their hair. So make sure they have their bonnet or they're sleeping on like a satin pillowcase, just to keep that moisture in their hair. Anyways, y'all, I hope that you found this video helpful. And yeah, so I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.